All right, today, guys, I want to take a look at a tool that I bought. It's a two-piece shake and break socket adapter set by Mayhew Tools. And it's got the .401 type Parker shank that fits standard um, quick connect on your uh, impact air hammers. And it contains two different... Uh, the two different sizes are a 3 8 inch square drive, which is a 37315, and the half inch square drive, which is a 37316. The two tools in a set are a number 32029. And I bought this set from Amazon, and it came well shipped. Even I mean, you, you could never damage these, but uh, they're in this heavy plastic sleeve that you see here, and then stapled at the top. And then it came in this type of I don't know what you want to call it, some type of material here. So let's take a look at them. You have the half inch square drive here, 3 eighths here, and this is what they mean by the Parker fitting. It's this end right here, 400 one thousandths diameter right here. So on this air hammer, what you have is a quick connect attachment on the end of it. And what you do is you pull back on this sleeve here, spring loaded, put the tool in, just like that. Here you'll see a close up of the half inch square drive. You'll note that there is no retaining ring or ball, spring loaded ball, to capture the socket. You do not want that with this. So when this is working, you want everything to be loose and banging on it so that it gives a lot of action against the bolt in question that you want to get loose. Now just behind that drive end you'll see it has a hex and they're stating that you can use either a 3 quarter or 19 millimeter and the purpose for that is, now here's a 3 quarter box wrench is that when you're using the impact wrench you're going to be pushing down to loosen it or you'll be going up to loosen it as you're banging on it with the impact wrench and that the, the, the blows that it's receiving from the impact wrench here the, uh, the air hammer then you'll as you're doing that you'll pull up um, counterclockwise to loosen that now let's see what the fit is. This is three quarter inch. And then this is going to be 19 millimeters. And I can't really tell a difference. They both have the same amount of whatever you want, looseness or what you want to call it. They both fit good. So again, three quarter inch or 19 millimeter is what you can use. I'm going to be doing a demonstration and I'm going to use the three quarter inch box wrench. It's a little bit longer than the 19 millimeter uh, box wrench. Okay guys, I've got a 5 8 diameter grade 8 nut and bolt. 
in the vise and I've got a washer between the uh, bolt head and the nut. I've pre-torqued it to 125 foot-pounds. Let's see what happens. Well guys, as you can see, I've been doing some experimenting and it's about useless and um, it, 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 I, I'm, I've been finding that this really is not worth a damn. Alright guys, so now I'm going to just go ahead and do this by hand. Obviously I'm going to do the same setup, got the same socket on here, got the same uh, wrench and I've got that tool because I have to have that on here. Uh, that Mayhew tool so that and then I'm going to try this and we're just going to see what happens so there you are guys I don't know if you if you guys had any experience that's a long stroke impact hammer from Snap-on I've had that quite a few years now I had uh, done a, a couple dealer rides I wanted to become a dealer well then I found out all the issues I had so I ended up buying this gun. I got it for a really good price. They let me have it for a good price. They thought I was going to become a dealer. But in any event, you see what we have here. Um, and I've been fooling around with this. I'm over at my neighbor's because he's got vices that are on big benches. And I needed something stout. I've got some portable stuff and they're great for what I do. But And so Don and I were, were looking at this like, Pretty much it's useless, is what I'm finding. You just see how easy it was to break 125 foot-pounds by hand. And that tool, didn't, uh, the, that tool with the impact. So, with an impact wrench, like you see here, it's got rotation. It, it, it's going to hit and impact. And I, I think that the guy's going to grab that first if you can't do it by hand you're just going to grab an impact wrench and break it a whole hell of a lot easier and 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 not have the issue of having a socket that is not retained depending on where you're working at that can come off so i'm going to have to call this tool ineffective I, i'm not sure what else to say if any of you guys have used these uh what do you what do you think um, I'm not going to return it, but uh, the old-fashioned impact is just as good, or by hand, as you can, as you saw in this demonstration. Oh, and just to make sure, uh, these bolts or the, the threads were, were dry. I didn't do anything. The threads were dry, and then, like I said, I had a washer behind it. You know, as I stated, this was a new bolt, five-eighths inch diameter grade 8 no rust or corrosion so if this won't break using those two tools you know that tool from Mayhew then you sure as hell won't work on a rusted or corroded boat and I think this is a good example the 5 8 if you start working on some bigger equipment or something and what are the chances that you're not going to have some rust or corrosion on it. And so I'm a little disappointed that this did not work.